Hello everybody, this is a video from St. Oliver's launching our very first Wellbeing Week. We're going to begin with a comedy short film made by the staff about the school, so please sit back, relax and enjoy all the fun. Hi everybody, it's Marty here. I was down in Killarney, you know, last Christmas for the Marty party and I, I heard about the Bono bit and I said, well surely, you know, I would get a call about the Bono bit. I couldn't believe it. Never got the call. Not even a single text message. Not an email. Nothing. And then I met a staff member from St. Oliver's and they too were disappointed with the audition process for the Bono bit. So then I decided to meet a lot more members of the staff at St. Oliver's to find out what they thought of the audition process. I began by visiting Christine Hegarty, who teaches first class in St. Oliver's. She was away on a family holiday during the filming of the Bono bit. Before we went on our family holiday, I heard Mr. O talking about some video. While I was intrigued, I didn't think much of it. And then we came back from holiday and it's all everyone was talking about. I felt so left out. What did you do to cope? Well, I was desperate to find some distraction. So I turned to farming. You did what? I turned to farming. Those were some of the darkest days of my life. Thankfully, the love and support from my family got me through this. They reminded me what was really important. And where is your husband? I met with the co-producer of the Bono bit, Oshin O'Connor. He had his story to tell. I did a lot of work with the filming and editing for the Bono bit. I just thought Mr. O would reward me with the, the Bono bit. It turns out he was playing all of us, except for Amy, of course. I think you know someone, but you actually don't. What do you do to move on? I like to do what I do best. Work it, Ashin, work it, come on. Then do it. Smile. Great. This is what we want. I spoke to Elaine Price, who was a judge for the auditions. She told me about her experience. I was so privileged to lend the judging role. But you know, there's a truth to the saying, be careful what you wish for. Some of the staff, well, they took it very badly. People who I thought were my friends. I just didn't expect it. I try not to take it personally, but it's so difficult. Excuse me for a minute, I, I have to pull in. The news is that Elaine has found solace by walking her beloved dog, Hazel. I just love getting out for walks with my pet here, Hazel. And we're so lucky with such beautiful nature around us. And I'm so grateful those gloom days are over. The 
things are looking grosser now. Hey, Elaine, you call yourself a judge. You would no talent if it hit you in the face. Ah, Mags. Don't you wear Mags me. It's all politics by you, Elaine. Teacher Josephine Doncel went to extra lengths to get the bonnet. bit. I think it was obvious that I was the people's choice to get the bonnet. bit. You know, what's not to like? My audition rocked. I, I must admit, it took, took a while for me to accept that I wasn't getting the part. eventually moved on. What did you do to move on? Well, actually, I took up a new sport. All that physical activity is so therapeutic. It's just, it's completely changed my life. And I love practicing. And can we see you practice? Oh, yeah, of course. Former All-Star Kerry goalkeeper Brendan Keeley was one of those who came closest to landing the Bono bit. I chatted with his mother, Bridget. You noticed something was wrong the day Brendan found out who got the Bono bit. Oh, Brendan, how are you? Uh, not too bad. Since then, he can't hold on to anything. He's outside practicing now. Brendan's friend Chris called over recently to help. Come on now, Brendan, eyes on the ball. He won't give up though. He keeps practicing and I know he will get there eventually. Ah, oh, Brendan, we were just talking about you. All good, I hope. Of course. We throw it in the sink for me, Brent, please. Oh, yeah. Charlene Brosnan came very close to getting the Bono bit with her apple tart. We hear the Mayo woman's story now. Well, initially, I consoled myself by eating that apple tart I made for Mr. Owen. I enjoyed every bite, but I realised that revenge left a bitter taste in my mouth. I decided that revenge was not the healthiest way to deal with my disappointment. I decided to set myself a new goal, get singing lessons. Yes! 
How have the lessons been going, Miss Brosnan? Well, sure, brilliant. I'm making excellent progress. How much time is McGough? Come on, Miss McGough. Let's show them how good I've gotten. Let's try escape. Don't run me for so long. Fortunately, I was allowed to join the St. Oliver Spa and Legion support group. They tell their story at their monthly meeting. Okay, lads, we all know we're here to meet to talk about the blatant favouritism being shown to the crooks in this school. We know that Spa are a Division 1 club playing senior football, and we deserve more respect than that. <laughs> we're get, joining with the Legion here today to talk about this and to sort this out. Yeah. 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 Now, Amy O'Donovan getting that Bono bit is the last straw. Yeah, it's a disgrace. Well, I heard that Mr. O played underage with the Crokes. You're joking me. <laughs> and I heard Mr. O'Sullivan played with the Crokes as well. And I heard they were on the same team, the B team. <laughs> Should we have no chance of getting the Bono bit then? Sure, the Crokes had had it sewn up as usual, so. <laughs> And Spa running one of the biggest seven-a-side tournaments in the country. And we can't get a part doing the Bono bit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! So what are we going to do about it? Are we going to take this land down? No. no! Oh, look who it is! Go get him, lads. Dad will teach them. Sisters Leah and Amy O'Shea shared with me their experience. Yeah, I mean, like, we're the ultimate double act. And he was getting two for the price of one. Yeah, that's his last. Hey, guys. Hey, how Brothers. Hey, how are hey, you? Hey, hey. How <laughs> Amy O'Donovan was the moon tour who actually got the Bono bit. I spoke to her about her experience. I uh, sure. Initially, yeah, I was delighted about getting the part. Some were very happy for me, but um, some weren't so happy. It was a, it was a real eye opener. Because over there, she attacked me. Still haunts me all the time, even at night. <laughs> I'm fine though. Yeah. I'm just get on with things. And where are you off to now? I, I'm gonna hit training. It takes my mind off things. <laughs> Teachers who were on maternity leave during the filming of the Bono bit meet up to air their grievances. Well, we were on a maternity leave when this video came out. 
everyone was talking about it and even my friends asked me why I wasn't playing it. Being a mother is a blessing, it truly is, but it would have been nice to be in the video. Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah, it's true. It's supposed to be a joyful time, but it feels like it's been tainted by being left out of this video. Yeah, that's true. true. Definitely. One of us should ring Mr. O and let him know how we feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Should. yeah. I'll ring him. Give him a piece oh, of my mind. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You tell him. Ring him. Hello. Hi, Mr. O. It's Mr. Delay here. Oh, hello, Mr. Delay. It's Mr. Delay. Well, I'm okay, like. How's the gorgeous Baba? Ah, uh, he's great, thanks. And um, listen, I have a bone to pick with you. All right. I'm here with all the other mothers that you never asked to be in this Bono video thing. But I sent an email. Um, to all the staff about the video. I'm sure no one ever checks those emails. That's true, that's true. But it's not funny. We're actually all very upset here. All right, yes. Who's that eating on the mobile phone on the green? It's right, it's Mr. Stroh. Now i down on top. I'll move him fairly lightly. Mr. Jeez, you just missed him. You have a go, Colin. Go on. Rob, I know what I'm at. Mr. O! I just do one second, Miss Maloney. Jeez, just missed him again. I tell you what, Mr. Lee. I'm going to make a new film and I'll make sure you're all in it. What do you think of that? doing another video and he wants us to be in it look i suppose we could forgive you just this once mr o excellent i'll be in touch soon with all the details thanks mr o we're in the next video <laughs> sorry miss maloney i'll just finish up here. Miss Fenton tried meditation to move on. Breathe in through the nose. One, two, three. And out. One, two, three. Relax the shoulders. No, I can't believe Mr. Odin gave me a line in that song. No, no, let it go. Nothing you can do about it now. Just breathe, feel the ground beneath you. Breathe in, one, two, three. But no, seriously, who do you think he is, Louis Walsh? Let it go, it's all in the past. Breathe in through the nose, one, two. No, no, do you know what? He should know how I feel, I'm gonna give him a call. No, don't, don't, just let it go. Don't spread anger. Just breathe. No, actually, do you know what? He's not getting away with this. I'm gonna ring him. Don't even think about it, Mr. O. All right, yeah. I can't believe he just hung up on me. Oh, you know what? Just breathe, breathe, breathe. Sixth class teacher Louisa Dunahoe decided to talk to someone about her disappointment in not getting the Bono bit. Ah, Miss Dunahoe, welcome. Take a seat, please. How are you? How 
How did you know I was going to ask you that? In your email, you say you're upset you didn't get a part in some song? see why you would be upset about not getting the Bono bit. But seriously, why didn't they open up auditions to somebody like me? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I can't. Sorry. Did you use the cards when you auditioned? Well, there's no kinda. It was either yes or no. Well, I can see how that would have gone against you in the audition. The good news is you've taken the most important first step by coming to talk to me. By talking, we can overcome our challenges. Now, Miss O'Donoghue, I want you to let go. Let them go, Miss O'Donoghue. You don't need them. Now, doesn't that feel better? Yes. <gasps> now, can you make sure you clean up that mess before you go? Hi guys, is there any chance we could talk about the banner bit? Oh god, Randy, it's very bad. It's a disaster. They're so upset about it. It's terrible. Look, uh, look, I, I've got to go. Sorry. Past principal Rory Darcy was unavailable at the time the banner bit was filmed. He told me his story. Yeah, uh, being honest, I, w I was, I was devastated when, uh, when. I didn't even get a phone call about the Bono bit. Um, when I rang Mr. O and, and I said, listen, Noel, you know, uh, a phone call would have been nice, you know, just to even have been asked, would, would, I, would I like to do it? And what he actually said to me was, listen, Ray, I'm really sorry. He actually got my name wrong. I, I, I couldn't believe it. He said, I'm sorry, Ray. It's just had a huge effect on me, really. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to grab my school bag. I'm going to head out to school. Yeah, see you later. Have you moved on, Rory? Yeah, people have been asking me what have I done to, to move on. Uh, and being, on, being honest, I tell you. What did you do to move on? Hang on a minute, come on actually and I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show you what we're going to do. Come on, come on.
I love it when I get this back. They're normally out of the office at this time. Well, there you have it. A lot lies beneath the surface of St. Oliver's. And uh, certainly tonight, all I can say to you is, thank God it's them instead of you. This is Marty Morrissey. This has been Marty Investigates. A huge thank you to all who have been involved. We decided to start with the comedy because of course, having a sense of humor is a huge part of well-being. And remember guys, it was only a comedy. None of our staff would ever shout from their cars, chase each other down, or hit each other with golf balls, etc., etc. While it was all a bit of fun, we covered areas of well-being, such as getting support from family and friends, exercise, goal setting, resilience, talking to someone, meditation, and getting out and about in nature. One of our staff, Leanna O'Brien, is part of the well-being team, and she's going to tell us more about the wellbeing programme being organised here in St. Oliver's. Thank you, Mr. O'Sullivan. Here in St. Oliver's, there are a number of activities and initiatives happening every day to enhance the wellbeing of our students, staff, families, and parents. This year, we have established a wellbeing team to plan and organise more events in our school to promote the fantastic work that is already happening. The three key areas that we are going to focus on are student well-being, family and parent well-being and staff well-being. The voice of our school community is really important to us and that we hope going forward that we will be able to tackle any challenges that may arise together. We have various activities to promote well-being in our school. Some of these include the active flag, restorative practice, roots of empathy, movement breaks, sports, choir, playing music, mindfulness, prayer, flexibility work, and our Rainbows programme. Wellbeing is a new priority for us here in St. Oliver's, and we are really looking forward to our first ever Wellbeing Week. Thanks, Deanna. So there you have it. Sorry about that. <laughs> Mr. Sulawan. <laughs> did you see my class anywhere? I did. They went that way. <laughs> so we're going to finish everything off with a song. We hope you enjoyed our video. Sloan from all of us in St. Oliver's.
and no more battles.